All right, welcome back, guys. Um, I forgot to record some of this, but today we're doing something that we've talked about for a while, and that is taking the doors off. So if you don't remember, this is my 2005 Scient XA um, manual, four-cylinder, front-wheel drive, really basic car that I picked up for like 800 bucks. It's pretty much stock at this point if you don't count the uh, bad crash repair um, that was done at one point, not by me. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty much stock except for these giant 27 inch tires that we put on. And we've been ripping it around. There's no muffler on it right now, so it's super loud. Um, but we got something exciting planned for today. So we're, we already started. We got the driver's side front door off and here's how it works. So what we got here is this is the little catch on the door. And then it just has these two hinges. The harness snakes through here, disconnects here, and you just pull it right out. And what's really nice is once you get everything disconnected, you can see that black catch right there. And then those are the four bolts, the harness. But what we found out, which is really nice, and I actually noticed it on my buddy's um, 2020 Rubicon, is uh, the harness, because those have power windows, goes from the door around the beam into the plug um, and it actually works with these too it does squish the harness a little bit but it still works and 90 percent of the time we're not going to have the doors on this anyway so that's what we're doing now and we started on the back and this is even easier so it's got the same latch here and or catch there and then hinges top and bottom but this is even easier because in the rear the plug goes from here into that hole and just comes right off and that's the only connecting. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'll time lapse this and take all the doors off and then I'll catch you afterwards. <laughs> all right, well, the doors are off and it's pretty sweet. So now we gotta figure out a couple things. Um, we got to figure out if we're going to take the hatch off. Um, it's pretty simple. Gas struts, connector, and hinges. Um, but we're not sure yet because it also has the third brake light, which I just thought of, and you need one of those for inspection. Um, we also got to figure out, I think on these hinges, what we're going to do is there's this pin, this pin right here. And I think we're going to pop the bottom of that pin off because it's in place. It, it's not removable. Um, so cut off the bottom and then basically mount mount these back to the door and be able to slide that right into the door when we remount it. Um, you also see that's where the connector for the door goes in, so easily removed. Um, same thing on the front with the pins. We also need mirrors. We have one rear view mirror, you need two for inspection. Um, this plastic cover goes here, just pops on and off. And then there's a 10 mil right there, so that's gonna probably be our mounting point for a mirror. Um, we just gotta figure out how we're gonna do that. And we gotta, see how hard it's going to be to get these doors back on and off um dana said they're not that heavy um he was helping me take them off so you know we'll see but that's where we're at right now so i'll time lapse this while we uh work on it all right so uh here's what we've decided for the mirror we looked around my shop and we found a mirror you're right dana looked around the shop this mirror is from my motorcycle I'll show you my motorcycle while we're at it the 1982 Yamaha XJ650 um, that I customized. There's not a whole lot done to it. Um, headlight with an integrated turn signal, uh, clamp on bar, the speedometer, mirror. I put on the four to one exhaust, suspension on it. I welded on this rear hoop with the built in turn signal brake light, side mounted the plate. And it's pretty sweet for like a thousand dollars. You can't really beat it. I love these bikes. I'll fire it up. It sounds pretty good. Except for when it doesn't. But. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. So I had a stock mirror for one of those and 
I had taken off this little black panel, plastic panel that covers the fender mount. And Dana noticed this clip hole right here was similar to the thread size on the mirror. So we found a nut that fits. We're gonna clean it up, weld it to the body right there. And uh, the black plastic piece will still be able to go back on if we, uh, if we wanna take the mirror off, put the doors back on, whatever. Um, but it doesn't interfere with anything. So it works pretty well. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Magic. So we've got this black plastic piece, and what we're gonna do, we've made that hole. We're gonna sandwich it between there. Factory. It's gonna look like a cow. <laughs> it already looks like a cow. So then we just, there you go. We're gonna tighten down that jam nut, and we're good to go. There we go. That actually doesn't look half bad. Right on the plastic panel, the black plastic point. Blech. That is so hard to say. Whoa, Dana. All right, now we got to figure out the hinge situation. <clears throat> so eventually we're going to make tube doors. And once we have the tube doors, we're never going to run without the tube doors because you're going to fall out. So maybe we shouldn't even worry about it because we, we'll just keep the hinges on. Yeah, literally we'll run a tube from here to the hinge, and then from there, we'll make a triangle brace up. And we'll do that front and back. And make a, uh, every triangle, make a hypotenuse. <laughs> um, I guess it makes sense. All right, well, I guess we're gonna go for a drive then. And hopefully not get pulled over, Bumper? but maybe not. Um, <laughs> zip screw or zip tie? I think zip tie. I feel like zip tie as well.
um, I think that's probably where we're cut it for today. We got to get some speakers for the rear. We're going to use ATV speakers because um, they're water resistant. And um, we, I think we're going to leave the hinges on for now. Um, so we're good there. I'll probably buy another one of those um, mirrors so I can do the other side. But for now, it's good. And it's uh, legal-ish, I guess. Um, and uh, you got to make the tube doors. And then we should be pretty good to go. I think we're still stripped the carpet out of the interior. Um, but it's pretty good. I like it, and it's awesome. Um, we got quite a bit more ground clearance just by removing the doors. So if you're looking for ground clearance, just take the doors off. It's really, it's really that simple. People put lifts in these much work no reason so anyways i'll catch you next time um peace out